people don't understand how, how, what my dad meant to me or how close we was. So when a big person ain't there and you still trying to, and, he, and he's a major part of what you're doing it for, it's like, man, do I really want to do this? You know what I'm saying? I was having problems with my knee and the heart rate. I finally get it checked out, you know, my sophomore year. I had told my meniscus I've been playing on it for about a year and a half. So that was one injury. And then I tore my other meniscus in my other knee. So I come back, you know, the off season, I'm working extra hard. You know, I'm doing, I'm doing what I what I need to do. And the sixth game of the season, I break my fibula in my ankle. And man. It just was, it was terrible. It was a terrible feeling. You know, I, my back was against the wall. So, you know, I'm opening up the papers, you know, it's saying, you know, Curtis Brinkley, you know, he's not doing good, he's this. You know, I was all of, I was all of under, you know. All, every, every bad thing that a person could say about me, that's what I was. You know, but my uncle, we kept instilling in me, man, and you know, I don't care what nobody say, you know, it is what it is. Like, my uncle kept me motivated. So I come back my senior year, and I just go off, you know, and all the hard work and things pay off. I, I had about seven to eight straight 100 yard games. Um, I tied Jim Brown record from, from Syracuse, and, you know, I just, I just gave myself a better opportunity to be an NFL prospect. My dream was basically for my dad, my grandmother, and my mom. You know, for my little sisters, my uncles, my family. I was fortunate enough to get picked up by the Chargers after, after, you know, people told me that I couldn't, I, I couldn't and I wouldn't be in the NFL. You know, I was doing great out here last year. You know, I was, I, I was feeling good. I was, I was out here with Ladanian Thompson and you know Sproles and you know, hey, when you talking about being. When you up under them, it's like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you feel like you in heaven. Like, you, 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 you being taught by a future Hall of Famer. You know, I get a phone call from my sister and she at work. So she said, you know, Boona, can you come pick me up? I don't have no ride. So I'm like, all right, you know, that's my sister. Like, you know what I mean? I'm going to pick my sister up. You know, that's on my way home. I can take her to my house. I went to grab things that's in the front seat and I had my, my hand on the steering wheel and I reached back to put the, the things in the back seat as she was approaching the car and someone ran up and shot. You know, they, they were shooting in the first shot, you know, my shoulder dropped and I actually didn't know I was shot. You know, I looked up and thought something happened with the, the roof. I mean, I didn't know what happened, you know. And next thing you know, I wound up in the hospital. You know, I got shot, you know, multiple times and you know, I still have a bullet in my chest. A law put me here for a lot of different reasons. You know, I have a lot more to do out here unless I would have, you know, he took he took my life away from me. Deuces. <laughs>